Hey church, here we go. Last devotion from me at the start of this brand new year that we're in. I hope you've been enjoying the last kind of six days so far of these devotions and how they've tracked so brilliantly and tracking with the first two messages of the year, the first two Sundays of January in 2022. Romans chapter 8, 28. And we know that in all things, what things? All things, big things, small things, things that are complicated, things that are um, seem like a nothing, all things, God works together for the good of those who love him, who called according to his purpose. And let me bring in one more verse to join us for today. And that's Proverbs 3, verse 6. And it says this, In all your ways acknowledge him, God, and he will make your path straight. Let me say it again. In all your ways acknowledge him, a good God, and he will make your paths straight. You know, when we think about 1 Samuel 13, we read about a graphic image of what we tend to do when we inadvertently take the role of God in our own lives. Saul and the Israelites had been surrounded by the Philistines for seven days. Saul had waited for the priest Samuel to arrive to inquire of God, and in sheer frustration, because Samuel, the prophet, was late arriving, uh, Saul took on the role of the prophet. Saul took on the role that was Samuel's alone. Saul offered up uh, a burnt sacrifice to God, playing the role of prophet and priest. Saul hadn't learned the cliched lesson, which is this, learn to wait when God is running late. He was so desperate that he took on a role that was never designated to him. And I think sometimes we do the same. Jesus promised to be with us and empower us and lead us. And to pastors and leaders, Jesus never said that it was the leader's job to build a church. He claimed sole right and sole responsibility for that. Yesterday, I shared with you about my frustration in prayer, that not only did God respond to me saying, when did you become God in this relationship? God also added by saying to me, I'll fill the departments, Glenn. You just do what I say. I think that sometimes in my desire to see our church grow and expand in, in, in every area, to see families changed, marriages strengthened and restored, to see people saved, sometimes I take it upon myself to step into God's shoes and play his role. But look at what King Solomon says again in Proverbs 3, 6. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Notice this, that my job is to acknowledge God and God's job is is to make my paths straight. Your job, friend, right now, your job today is to acknowledge God and he will ensure that your path is straight. Notice you don't have to find the path for your life. God will do that. Just acknowledge him. Acknowledging him is as central to your life as breathing oxygen. Acknowledging him in your education. Acknowledging him in your relationships. Acknowledging him in your finances. Simply acknowledge him. And he says, I will make your paths straight. And do you know something, friends? Even Jesus modeled this simple way of living life. He acknowledged God, God the Father, made his paths straight. Let, let's just quickly look at this. In Proverbs, it says, in all your ways, acknowledge him. Jesus says in John 5, 19, I only do what I see the Father doing. He acknowledged God. Proverbs says, he will make your path straight. And God says in Matthew 16, 18, I, God, will build my church. Jesus was teaching us a simple model of my job versus God's job. And maybe this year, if we stop playing God, i.e. building, filling, path straightening, and allow God to do it, then while we acknowledge God, then perhaps the building, the filling, the path straightening, the, the business growing, the, the family strengthening will take place a lot quicker and relatively stress-free. Why? Because we are not playing God's job. Your job today is to acknowledge God. His job is to make your path straight. So what area in life have you been building? Have you been filling? Have you been path straightening? Why not take a pause, stop, acknowledge God. Let God in right now. Let God be God. If you acknowledge God, he will make your path straight. If you acknowledge the God who works in all things, 
If you acknowledge the God who is good, if you simply place God first and honor him first in all areas, then he promises to make your path straight. I wonder what it means to have a straight path. I wonder what it means to have a not just a, a crooked journey with, with bends and twists, but a path that is straight. I think that all of us would prefer a straight path than a path fraught with complications and difficulties of our own making. Here's the quote of the day. It's simply Proverbs 3 verse 6. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. Audacious Church, see you in church on Sunday. We are in for an amazing journey this year. God is going to continue to do great things. How do we know that? Because the Bible is absolutely clear in saying, and we know, do you know? Yeah, we know that in all things, what things? All things. God works for the good of those who love him, who've been called according to his purpose. Today, I acknowledge him and he will make my paths straight and yours too. Love you, church. See you on Sunday.